The Shirts Cibolo area is one of the fastest growing and best suburbs of the San Antonio area. And today, I'd like to talk to you about some of the pros and cons of living in Shirts or Cibolo. On this channel, I talk about all things new brothels and the surrounding areas. And I've gotten some comments and some calls and texts from some of you asking me to talk a little bit about the Shirts Cibolo area. So I'd love to cover that for you. Actually, myself, prior to becoming a real estate agent, I was actually a paramedic and I worked for the EMS agency in that area. So I've spent a lot of time there. I've been in a lot of homes there. I've kind of been around the community there a lot. So I feel confident in my ability to kind of assess the area and tell you guys about it. As always, if you find value in this video and you want to subscribe and see more videos like this, we really appreciate that. If you're thinking about relocating to the New Braunfels area or Shirts Cibolo, give me a call or shoot me a text. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, so before we dive in too deep on the pros and cons of Shirts and Cibolo, uh, just know that I am kind of combining them into one video. They are two separate cities. Um, they're just northeast of San Antonio, right off of 35. I do kind of combine them because it is kind of the same general area uh, with a lot of the same pros and cons for each, but they're separate cities. Um, I might get some flack from some people, you know, ah, they're two different areas, but you know, realistically, they're kind of the same area, same community. So they're just Northeast on 35, like I said, uh, between San Antonio and New Braunfels. Okay, so let's just get right into it with our first pro, and that's gonna be proximity to San Antonio. All right, so for some of you, this could go either way, but if you're working in San Antonio every day, and, or you just like having the amenities of a big city close by, then Shirts and Cibolo kind of have a, an advantage over New Braunfels in that they're a lot closer to San Antonio than New Braunfels is. Shirts is located just a few miles northeast of the most outer loop of San Antonio, and Cibolo is just a few miles further than that. But for all intents and purposes, both are very convenient for travel and commute to San Antonio. Not only are you close to San Antonio and all that has to offer in terms of job opportunities and things to do, but you've also got the Forum Shopping Center right down the road, uh, a Costco, and two really cool movie theaters that feature bowling and laser tag and arcade. So it's a really cool location, very convenient to some fun things to do. Another great aspect of its location is its proximity to Randolph Air Force Base, which is about one mile from the Shirt City limits, and Fort Sam Houston Army Base, that's about 10 miles from Shirt City limits. So if you're active duty military, it's going to be a really convenient uh, commute to work for you. Uh, but even if you're retired, you're going to be close to you know where you get your doctor's appointments, going to the base exchange, and just staying connected to the military community. And Shirts and Cibolo have a huge military presence. All right, so our first con is going to be traffic and going along with that, the rapid growth. So much like New Braunfels and really the entire 35 corridor between San Antonio and Austin, Shirts and Cibolo have seen tremendous growth in the past couple of decades. And with that comes the pains of road construction and expansion and traffic. And that proximity to San Antonio brings with it some additional traffic delays. And I can tell you from firsthand experience driving from New Braunfels to San Antonio in the mornings, the highways are wide open until you hit Shirts, and that's where it starts to slow down. So Despite being much closer in terms of distance to San Antonio, uh, some of that time saved actually gets cut down because of the congestion that you're going to experience driving to San Antonio from there. Pro number two, fantastic schools. Niche.com has Shirts Cibolo Universal City ISD, which is the school district covering Shirts and Cibolo, rated as an A overall. Steel High School, which mostly gets its students from Cibolo, receives a grade of A, and Clemens High School, where most of the students are coming out of shirts, gets an A minus. So two really good grades. District-wide scores from niche.com show uh, an A minus for academics, an A for diversity, A minus for teachers and college prep, and an A for clubs and activity, and an A plus for athletics. With Steel High School boasting one of the most competitive football teams in the state if that's the kind of thing you're into you know how much we love our football down here in texas overall i would bet this district matches up well with any other district in the state con number two there's kind of a lack of big name recreation activity so you know if you've watched my other videos in new braunfels we've got schlitterbahn 
uh, the rivers, the Comal, Guadalupe rivers, uh, the lakes right down the road, multiple concert venues. San Antonio, on the other hand, has SeaWorld, Fiesta, Texas, uh, the Riverwalk, the, the Pearl District, the, Spur, the Spurs basketball team, of course, concert venues of their own, and tons of parks as well. And, and if I'm being honest, as far as big name stuff goes, Church and Cibolo really just have that they're kind of close to those places. Now, don't get me wrong. There's definitely a few parks, um, and you can definitely go fishing in the Cibolo Creek. But there's none of the big draws um, that people come from all over to see, like in San Antonio or New Braunfels. Pro number three, 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 three is crime. Um, according to NeighborhoodScouts.com, Shirts and Cibolo both have incredibly low crime rates that are well below the state average. Violent crime in Shirts is 1.45 out of 1,000. And Cibolo is even lower at 1.15 per 1,000. Property crime also well below the state average. You've got 8.4 per 1,000 residents in Cibolo and 10.93 per 1,000 in Shirts. So not only does this area have really awesome, great, highly rated schools, but the reported crime stats are low as well. Con number three. Well, that was six, but you know what I mean. Uh, property tax confusion. Um, shirts especially. The shirt city limits are actually uh, located within three different counties. Uh, so, you know, Dr. Doofenshmirtz would be <laughs> right at home, the tri-state area. So the, so the part of shirts that's in Bear County, uh, which is actually the same county as San Antonio, has a 2.34% property tax. The part of city limits is in Guadalupe County, which is the same uh, county that Seguin sits in, has a 2.2% property tax. And the part of the city located in Comal County, which is the county New Braunfels is in, has a 2.14% property tax. Cibolo, on the other hand, is wholly located within Guadalupe County with a 2.23% property tax rate. Pro number four. Shirts and Cibolo are going to be a little more affordable for housing than New Braunfels, although they are going to still be a little more pricier than San Antonio in general. In Shirts, you've got a median home sales price of $340,000 versus Cibolo's got a median home sales price at $360,000. So let's just take a look and see what the median sales price gets you in both cities, just so you have an idea. So this house in shirts is listed at $349,000, which is just above the median sales price, and it boasts four bedrooms and three bathrooms and 2,800 square feet of living space. As you can see, they've got tons of mature trees on this lot, which is 7,300 square feet. It's a pretty open two-story house. Uh, it might need some updating in the kitchen and flooring, but Really nice bones in a nice backyard. As you can see, for under 350 with that much square, square footage, I see tons of value here. All right, so let's go take a look at this one in Cibolo, listed at 360,000. Now this is a little newer than the one we looked at in shirts. It's still a four bed and three bath, and it has about 2,400 square feet of living area. Obviously, since it's a newer home, we're not gonna see the mature trees. Uh, but lot size is about the same at 400 square feet smaller than the lot the shirts house was on as you can see this house is a little more updated uh, but it's a little bit smaller with a little bit smaller yard uh, doesn't really have the nice trees in the yard uh, but definitely still a nice house and a lot of house for 360,000. now there's tons of different houses uh, and prices can vary widely i just wanted to give you an idea of what the median house uh, in each town looks like so the Shirts and Cibolo areas are fantastic choices for people that are looking for proximity to New Braunfels and San Antonio. They are convenient to San Antonio, military bases, and shopping. They're also a little more affordable with New Braunfels with very highly rated schools and low crime rates. On the flip side, there's also some heavy traffic congestion, some confusing property tax districts, and not really any big name attractions for recreation. If you enjoyed this video and you want to continue to learn more about the New Braunfels area, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. If you're considering a move to the Shirts or Cibolo area and have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give me a call or just shoot me a text. And hey, if you want to keep learning more about the area, click this video right here. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.